Continuing their tries with global peacekeeping operations and the role of extending support at, at the time of any exigency to the friendly nations. The Indian Army is all set to dispatch an infantry battalion as a part of UN Interim Security Force for Abai. In the oil-rich Abai region of Africa, which sits between northern and southern Sudan. Under the peacekeeping operation, the 570 soldiers strong infantry battalion of the Indian Army will be deployed, which will be tasked to provide humanitarian aid and monitor the sensitive border between Sudan and South Sudan. Presently, the Indian Army has deployed over 5,300 soldiers in eight different UN missions around the globe. It is noteworthy that Indian Army is the world's third largest troop deployer in the peacekeeping operations. The decision to send another infantry battalion comes in the backdrop of India's ongoing two-year tenure as a non-permanent member of UN Security Council since January 2021. India secured the seat at the famous 15-member UNSC for the eighth time. Indian Army's participation in the UN peacekeeping operations spans over a period of 57 years in 43 different UN missions. More than 90,000 Indian Army soldiers have served in various parts as a part of these imperative missions globally. Extending support to UN peacekeeping endeavors, the Indian Army has contributed outstanding force commanders, elite military contingents, impartial observers, and dedicated staff officers. India has deployed its peacekeeping battalion in countries like Cambodia, Saranoi, Rabada, Lebanon, Utopia, Eritrea, Congo, Sudan and Golan Heights. Recently addressing PANX21, a humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh praised the Indian Army forces for incorporating these humanitarian operations as one of the foremost element in their vision for being the first responder in any exigency to the friendly nations around the globe. The Defence Minister mentioned about some of the notable humanitarian missions undertaken by India, including Operation Rahat in Yemen in 2015, when India evacuated more than 6,700 people, Cyclone in Sri Lanka in 2016, Earthquake in Indonesia in 2019, and oil spill in Mauritius in August 2020, and oil tanker fire in Sri Lanka in September 2020. This is it in today's session. Thanks for watching.